This is WSAU News This Morning. There's stories two and three decades in the making. And today we're going to take you behind the scenes of three very special Southern Arkansas University employees' tenures at the university. Today they'll be receiving their 20 and 30 year career service awards. But before we get to the awards, let's see what some of their co-workers and former co-workers have to say. We're talking about a lady, she's kind of mysterious around here, her name's Kay Burley. And uh, she's, uh, she's got 20 years she's put in here at the university. And uh, you all work with her on a day-to-day basis. And we know there's some, we're, look, there's some dirt on her somewhere, but nobody's been able to find it yet. Uh, do, do any of you know anything that you can share? Yes. <laughs> no. Okay. no. But you're not? Not really. Okay. But t- t- tell me your thoughts, Mr. Davis. Tell me your thoughts on Kay. I've known Kay a long time. You've known Kay a long time. Okay, you can go back to your office now. Cassie, what, what, what do you think about Kay? She's a great person. For the right money, Kay, I will not tell what we do late at night. <laughs> uh, we spend a lot of nights together. Okay. <laughs> Working. Okay. <laughs> so, Putting in long hours here long at the office. Long hours, but I can't tell what those hours entail. So for the right money, Kay. <laughs> We spotted the elusive Dr. David Krause. He's about to back out of his car. We'll see if we'll see if he can tell us anything about these three people. He's shaking his head, and uh, you know we we just want a quick interview. <laughs> you know, Dr. Krause, we're we're looking for information on Kay Burley, a Penny Lyons, and Becky Talley. Uh, do do you know anything about these three individuals? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, what can you tell us about them? Positive, negative? Uh, Miss Burley used to be a fine organ player. She used to be. What happened? She has decided that uh, she didn't want to continue and have to perform in public. Uh, is this, this is a common problem. Uh, yes, it is. Yeah. Excuse me, Dr. Green. What's up? Jeremy Langley, WSAU News. We're looking for information on Becky Talley. Can you tell us? Wow, you, do Becky you know- Talley. Very famous lady. Yeah. Very famous lady. Very capable lady. Pretty much runs this whole building. You know, no flaws. What's there's a flaw somewhere? Well, let me see. Probably if you ask her, she can make a list of flaws. But the ones she makes the list on the list, they'll be made up. They'll be wrong. That's she a has flaw. No flaws. That's a lie. That's a flaw. There you go. Well, her only flaw is she thinks she has some flaws. Okay. Absolutely no flaws. This is super lady. Right. I'm not sure why y'all are looking for, but if it's to applaud her or. Give her a pat on the back or maybe give her a big check or something. It's, it's perfect. Would you contribute to that check? I would contribute to the check. for. And, you know, the, the banner down in the lobby says expect excellence. And so far everyone says excellence is what you get out of Becky Talley. And we're just trying to find somebody who can tell us different. No, you won't be me. Becky Talley keeps us running around here. Well, excuse me, excuse me. Yeah. Jeremy Langley, WSAU oh. News. It's such a pleasure to see you today. I was here at Wilma Williams. She's the director of the Employment Resources Center, one of the few people who has been at SAU longer than Penny Lyons. And now you two uh, served on some committees together. You go to the uh, Student Affairs Department head meeting, where I hear you both take very extensive notes. Oh, exactly. Penny and I are both both very detail-oriented. And, uh, and sometimes afterwards, you know, if one of us has to miss... We rely on the other one to take those good notes. Uh, I've worked with Penny a lot on different types of committees. Um, I I admire her work with the international students. She has one of the best decorated uh, and most international offices on campus with all of the, the lovely things the students have brought and sent back to her. She's so well liked by her students. You know any dirt on Penny? Uh, no, I really, I really don't. Well, wait a minute. Let's see. Seems I remember Penny was thrown in the Lake Columbia one year. Now, I don't know how that happened. I wasn't there, and I haven't seen the video. Do you know the backstory behind why she was thrown in the Lake Columbia? No, no, I don't. I, I really don't. But I, I uh, don't think she was wearing um, a bathing suit. Now, now, Wilma made mention that she did not have on a bathing suit. Did, but, but she was wearing clothing, right? Yes, now, yes, she wasn't bare. She had her clothes on, but okay. just got thrown in. All right, good. Now, now tell me, you, I guess you work with Penny quite a bit on getting students into the university. Tell us a little bit about Penny. 
Well, I, I do, and we have to decide whether they go through the international student admissions or the regular student admissions. She cares about those students and does a lot with those students, and I just appreciate her very much. Do you think it's real or put on? It's very real. Okay. So she nothing fake of, about her? No, she has a lot of patience. Yeah. yeah she so, does. So uh, can you help us dig up any dirt on Penny? No, well, she's clean. They threw her in. They washed her in the lake. They did. Now, one thing I, that I kind of see about Kay, you know, she parks in this parking spot called business car only. And now even you as president pay for your parking spot, but Kay doesn't. Do you feel a grudge there? Well, I, I have to be real careful that I, every year, and you know, I've, I'm second behind her. See, I have to park behind her. And uh, that uh, big car, of course, I drive a big one too, so I had to be careful and not hit her, dent that car, because I knew I'd, I know I'd be in great trouble if I, if I hit that car. Kay Burley, she, she's up here a lot late in the evening and you know dr rankin when we interviewed him you know he told us that she works on a lot of like ncaa audits and other paperwork and you know that seemed to be the excuse we're getting for people for her being up here late at night do you think there's any illegal activity going on in the evenings with k uh, you there's no telling that's why uh, sergeant ray has been diligently working uh, the investigation he's hidden some cameras we do have some late night footage of her being uh, suspicious uh, in throughout some of the buildings, uh, particularly going to her car back and forth, uh, things of that nature. So we're, we're still looking into that. So, you know, she, she typically parks in that spot in front of Overstreet that says reserved for business car. Uh, is, is that spot really there because that's where the surveillance cameras can pick it up? Yes. Heard it straight from the horse's mouth there. The investigation continues, and so will ours. And speaking of straight from the horse's mouth, we decided to go straight for the mule's mouth, and we decided to go straight for the head mule herself. And, and Molly Ann, what do you have to say about these three ladies? Not talking, huh? Would you talk for a carrot? Let's try Molly B. Molly B, you've been here a long time. Molly Ann's the new kid on the block. And uh, she's running from me. Excuse us. Hello. The, the Hello. Party. Excuse me. Yes. Jeremy Langley, WSAU News. Yes. It's nice to see you. We're doing a story about Becky Talley, and uh, your class seems to have fallen asleep. I mean, did we discover something? I'm seeing they have, they have notes written. And, um, you yeah, we're just looking for information about Becky Talley. But looking at these notes, it looks like maybe she's Superwoman or something. The back of a head of a possible celebrity, a reality show celebrity. This is uh, Sean Smith. Sean, are you awake? I am, barely. Miss Edwards uh, needs to liven up her teaching a little bit. Okay. Tell, tell us about Becky Talley. Uh, Becky Talley, what can I say? Uh, Miss Talley, I, I'm, I'm pumped that you were my 5,567th follower on Twitter, but please stop blowing up my fan page and my Facebook inbox. I'll get you an autograph, I promise. She, she is the icing on the cake. She, what flavor of cake? Chocolate cake, chocolate icing. Buttercream, the real lard that just sticks to you on both sides. That Becky Tally Becky sticks Talley. to you. Becky Tally sticks to you. If you want to know it, if you need it to get done, you need Becky Tally. You never want to get on her bad side. You can't eat the microphone. Penny Lyons over in the international office. Of course, she hasn't been in the international office all of her 30 years here. She's alumni director for a while, she's done some other jobs. Uh, share some thoughts about Penny. Well, Penny's done a great job, and of course, we've got students from all over the world. I, it's an amazing job that she's done over the years, and she's brought to us students that, that all of us remember and have uh, fond memories of, and students today that are on the campus. And so it's been a, it's been a great run, I think, for our international program. This is the International Student Office, formerly the Mule Rider Activity Center. And I see some international students right over here, and we'll see if they can tell us anything about Penny Lines. Excuse me, excuse me, Jeremy Langley, WSAU News. What's your name? Prasant Acharya. Well, it's nice to meet you. Tell me what you can tell me about uh, Penny Lines. Oh, she's great. You know, like, she's the reason that I am here. You know, like, my continuous conversation with her, like, when I was back home through email and all those stuff, and she was very helpful. And so if there was no Miss Lyons, I don't think I would be here right now. You've never seen her get mad? Ah, uh, not yet. No, not here? Yeah. Well, do you think she has the capability of getting mad? Probably. Probably. Yeah. What do you think would set her off? Not getting too many international students. Right. 
But yeah. she doesn't have that problem. She recruits a lot. Yeah. So, like, if the day comes that there aren't many, she might get mad. She might get mad. Yeah. Okay. Hello. How are you, sir? Uh, Jeremy Langley, WSAU News. Your name? Uh, Sagar Rizal. Do you think she's a nice person? Oh, she's, she's a wonderful person. <laughs> Miss Penny, is a, she's a radio, a wonderful person. We need Miss Lyons. Yeah, without Miss Lyons, you wouldn't have the international program, right? Exactly, yeah. Well, we need Miss Lyons in the SAU. She's, um, she helps uh, SAU students, uh, mostly international students, on everything. You know, she's, she's been here for 30 years. That's longer than you've been alive. That's a long yeah, time. Ex yeah, ex ex exactly. I'm, I'm not th even that old now. You, you, you think she's got a lot of years yeah, left so here in the she, internet? She can still continue here working for another decade, and then she can take a retirement. But we want Miss Penny here for still for so many years because there will be so many international students coming in, and she is the one taking responsibility of international students. So. Sounds wonderful. Thank you so much for your time. Penny Lyons, needed here for many more years. The students love her. Right. <laughs> Ann, one more. I have one more question for you. Come back. And one more question. Where are you going? I have more carrots. I have more carrots. Okay, now we're going to go into the financial services office. We're still looking for dirt on Kay Burley. So far, nobody's been willing, but let's see what we can find. Knock, knock. Jeremy Langley, WSAU News. How are you today? It's such a pleasure to see you. We're looking, we're digging up dirt on Kay Burley. She's been here 20 years at SAU. So far, nobody will say anything but nice things. Uh, what, what do you have to say about Kay? I think Kay is a very responsible worker. She always has a good spirit about her. She's always very helpful anytime that I've had any problems that I needed you know, answers to. She's great at her job. Okay, so great at her job. That's what we hear over and over again, but we're just certain that somewhere there's, uh, some, there's another story. There's, there's more to this story. Oh, we've already got him. But I spotted Emily. Emily Jester thinks she can hide in the office of Leslie Walthall, where we were just at. Em Emily, a new mother, she may be fear for her child's life. She may not want to tell us the true dirt on Kay Burley. Emily, what do you have to say about Kay? She's perfect. Perfection. Anything else? No. We need some dirt on Kay. Kay Burley? Yes. I don't know any dirt on Kay. She's a sweet lady. Great hard worker. Uh, very important family person, too. Any bad habits about Kay that we should know about? Well, you know, Kay just likes to work late all the time, and I kind of wonder about that sometimes. She likes to stay up here if it's 10 o'clock at night and, and work late. Molly. I'm out of carrot. Whoops, I dropped it. You can count on Kay. If you need something, you ask Kay, and she will get it to you eventually. Uh, do you happen to have any, any dirt on Kay Burley? No dirt comes to mind at this time uh, that uh, would be suitable for mixed company. Okay, now she works a lot of late hours. Uh, do you do you think that's um, uh, any any type of maybe uh, illegal activity going on? No, I do not feel like there is any illegal activity going on at this time. However, an internal audit division on campus would certainly uh, help that situation to squelch any rumors that might be running rampant. Is excellence what you think of when you think Becky Talley? Yes, absolutely. She uh, everything you ask her to do, she does with a with a complete um, goal of getting it done correctly, getting it done on time, and she very seldom fails in that. But, but there, there's a flaw there somewhere. Surely there there's a flaw. Oh, occasionally, a few minutes late. She is occasionally a little flustered. Oh, and those conflict management seminars. Does she need to go to like to anger management, anything like that? Do you know, we just keep putting that off. Yeah. She keeps getting those brochures and those time management brochures. She keeps getting those brochures and we keep putting those off. You put off time management seminars, is that a good thing? <laughs> so she's procrastinating the, the, the seminar about procrastination. Is she and I both, yeah. <laughs> well, tell us what you think about Becky. She's great. Uh, I've met her a few times. She's very helpful. I really enjoy. said you really didn't know her, so you're really making this up. <laughs> yes. 
Okay. <laughs> what do you think about Becky Talley? She's a sweet old woman. Do you know her? Not a clue.